Uh, via telephone, uh, Delegate Bill Ridenauer. If Pat McGeehan, who is Delegate District 1, is the alpha, then Bill Ridenauer, who is Delegate District 100, is the omega. Let's welcome <laughs> in the omega, Bill Ridenauer. Good morning, sir. How are you? Okay. I'm not sure I would be calling myself the omega, but I would like to say something to begin with, and that's on Senator, the question you posed to Senator Tarr. Yes. Uh, relative to impeachment and governor, the uh, governor. And I'd like to say that that would be a good question for the House leadership. So the Marine Corps taught me a long time ago to call in artillery on ambush locations before I got to them. Yeah, I I, okay. uh, I think I gave you enough advance warning to be able to come up with a good one for that one. So appreciate uh, the response on that one. Uh, yes. Delegate right now. Well played, I might say, too. And uh, by the way, thank you again for your service uh, um, with, the, uh, with the Marine Corps and... I'll know, I know also some of the other the work that you do with the federal government, uh, too, before you retired, and now are a member yep. of the House. So uh, tell me, uh, how's it been for you, new to Charleston, trying to work your way in as one of 100 down there, one of 88 in the supermajority in Charleston? It's been interesting. I mean, it's, um, it's not any real different than I anticipated it to be. I mean, there's politics. I had politics all throughout my DIA career at the, after I had retired from the Marine Corps, so um it's the meetings the committee meetings that i'm in are very similar other than parliamentary procedure and no real four-letter words used uh <laughs> compared to a lot of the committee meetings i either ran or was participating in uh when i was in uh, dia some time ago so uh issues are different but you learn those and that's what i've been doing is learning and um uh, working to try and figure out what is best for my district and for the county and uh, the state. You serve on education, judiciary, technology and infrastructure, veterans affairs, and homeland security. Let's talk about education. Yep. I know teacher pay raises have been a pretty good point of discussion on the education committee and uh, elevating pay, especially for uh, the eastern panhandle counties where we have so much contact from just across the border. What kind of progress are you folks making there, Bill? Uh, there, there are several things that are going on, and I can't speak to them because they're still being worked. Um, I know on the Senate side, they're doing some things that we think, um, I, I, in particular, uh, Senator um, Barrett and Senator Rucker are working on some things that I, I think will help us out in our locality pay effort. Um, there, it's We've tried over and over again throughout the years to, to do a direct locality pay increase or to tie it to some type of indexing and um, those have not worked. Uh, we've passed one thing that um, Delegate Wayne Clark uh, pushed and that I think uh, will give us a little bit of a pay uh, increase for uh, some workers up in um, the Eastern Panhandle. Uh, but we're, we're all focused on it. We, we have a uh, Eastern Panhandle caucus that is a Every time we meet, that is one of the issues that we discuss uh, so that we can try and push um, the rest of the House, the rest of the Senate to understand the issues that we have in Eastern Panhandle, Northern Panhandle as well, uh, and some of the other uh, border counties. So I think we're making progress, and it's it's just something that's going to be a, a longstanding effort, and hopefully we'll get something out by the end of the session uh, on both in both uh, sides of the um, – legislature and in time so that we can get it past the governor as well taking pay out of the equation what other things are you folks discussing in education that can improve the education in west virginia and the classroom experience for teachers and students um there are, i mean we we're still early into the session so there, there are a number of bills that are out there um one of the things that we're looking at is uh, how we can improve um, phonics. We've had um, the secretary, uh, the uh, Department of Education secretary, uh, Rausch, come by and uh, talk to us about his efforts on phonics, which I'm excited about, and I want to see us continue to push that. It's it's the obvious right answer. Um, I'm, my only curiosity is why we were not doing this before. So I'm very encouraged that we're, we're pushing that now. Um, we want to try and do what we can to uh, give them the resources, but we're also trying to look at how we conserve resources. 
uh, as Senator Tarr was pointing out relative to um, the um, income tax and property taxes, uh, we, we can't cut taxes and simultaneously increase spending. So we've got to look at how we're doing uh, any kind of increase in spending. And money isn't the answer. We've tried that over and over again with education, and it has not worked. Uh, we're not any better off now than I think we were years ago. In fact, I, I would argue, and many of my constituents have argued as well, that uh, we're actually much worse off now than we were 10, 15 years ago. So <clears throat> um, it's a different approach. I'm, I'm encouraged by what I see by um, uh, Secretary Hardis, or uh, Secretary uh, Rausch and uh, the State Board of Education President Hardesty. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how that goes, and we're going to do what we can to work with them to develop a better educational system. Bill, uh, uh, good morning, Delegate. Uh, thanks for joining us. You mentioned we're yeah. much worse off than we were 10 or 15 years uh, ago. Would you be more specific? In what ways are we much worse off? Well, our reading scores are down, our math scores are down. Um, we're at the bottom, if not at the bottom of the barrel in most grades in uh, both of those areas. And those are the, the key areas that we need to continue to focus on. And the uh, correction, uh, corrective action that you see coming down the road will address For, specifically? Yeah, it, it, the, the, the key, I think, really is, is reading, because um, that, that impacts both uh, reading and math. I mean, if, if you can't read properly, then you're, you're going to have trouble in math as well. <clears throat> so that's why I'm uh, really excited about hearing us going back to what worked for my kids, for myself, for many, many thousand or millions of others in our country, uh, the phonics effort. Um, so I, I think that's where we need to go. We need to reinforce um, what Secretary Roush is trying to do. Um, and ensure that uh, that is successful and ensure that, that it's being incorporated into all of our school systems. Um, I don't know that there's going to be any resistance, but we, we do need to make sure that we're actually trying to take what has worked in the past and use it uh, and try and move away from those things that have not been working in the most recent past. Are there particular bills, particular issues that you personally have been out, up, out front and pushing? Relative to education, or well, any, to, anything, anything. Yeah. Well, I've got uh, three separate bills that I'm sponsoring now. I have a couple of others that I'm working on. Uh, one, there's no, uh, as I get, given my terrorism background and my experiences with terrorism in the past, I looked at the uh, West Virginia Code relative to terrorism, and uh, terrorism is not illegal in West Virginia. The threat of terrorism is. So uh, I put together a bill to uh, make terrorist actions uh, actually illegal. So if you uh, blow something up, you aren't charged with blowing something up. You're charged with blowing something up and terrorism. Uh, we've experienced some of that, and we're seeing a growth of terrorism around the country, uh, and it, in part because it works. It's a, a means to intimidate. That's what we're seeing is efforts to intimidate, use terrorist uh, methods, to intimidate. So uh, that, um, I have another bill um, to prohibit uh, human smuggling of illegal aliens into West Virginia. Um, and the last one is to increase the penalties for corruption, because uh, the penalties, frankly, as I looked at them, did not seem to um, provide sufficient deterrent for those people who might engage in corrupt activities. Going back very quickly to your terrorism bill, would that include <laughs> cyber issues such as ransomware and the like? Uh, not, not so much ransomware if, if it's, um, unless it's used for some type of um, effort where you could have a mass casualty event or something along those lines. So attacks on critical infrastructure uh, and a, a uh, a cyber attack that would, in fact, um, create a uh, some type of disruption, major disruption of critical infrastructure, power grid, uh, things along those lines. That would be a terrorist act. But um, a ransomware against individuals or against an institution, 
doesn't and can't contain really the, the violence aspect that terrorism would require. Matt Miller. Uh, Delegate, I want to take you back to uh, your statement of of reading effects math and tell you just how accurate that is, because I was okay with math as a young guy until they started putting letters in it. And then I had all the trouble when I got to algebra. Um, My reading and math skills did not connect in in that way and so uh, but you're talking earlier about the importance of reading Uh, how much are you behind that effort to get additional assistance into a classroom in those early years up to that third grade to be able to help teachers and and be able to help our students learn to read better at a younger age well as a committee um the committee passed although i was not fully in support of it uh, additional aids into the classrooms for teachers. The issue again is um, the expenditure of um, uh, over a hundred million dollars uh, to put aids into first through third grade classrooms. Uh, the committee did pass that. Uh, it is going to the House floor at some point. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, I want to do what I can. I mean, we're we're all working within the committee to try and. Uh, do what we can to support what uh, Senator Ra- or Secretary Rauch uh, has proposed, and we're hoping that um, we're hoping that it'll pan out. I mean, he's got some good uh, data to support it, um, and uh, he has a very convincing argument. In part because it's worked. I mean, it, it has worked very well in the past, and again, we some of us are curious, me in particular are curious as to why we moved away from that towards a, uh, a less proven technique uh, or techniques to teach uh, reading. In the process of, of the education committee, how much have you all talked about um, bringing on and then being able to retain teachers? Uh, it seems that we are in a time where uh, fewer students coming out of high school may be going into that teaching field as they get into college, and it's becoming more challenging to retain teachers with everything that they face on a regular daily basis. Uh, are there ideas of how to be able to bring in new teachers? and and then keep the ones that we do have yeah there's been um discussion and we're we're looking at other ways that we can try and bring in additional teachers reducing the um um administrative uh requirements not not the the requirements for capabilities uh that individual teachers would bring in but um some of the way some of the um, bureaucracy that uh inhibits uh bringing folks in Uh, And that's not just at the state level, that's really at the local level as well, wherein uh, we seem to have a a keep out as opposed to a a bring in strategy. We're we're trying to, I I don't think we're we're focused on bringing in as many teachers um, on a permanent basis. There's there's a focus, unfortunately, it looks like on long-term substitutes is a solution and that's to me not a solution that's that is a temporary fix we need to ensure we're trying to bring in teachers who are going to give us a longer period of time we also want to try there are several different things we're trying to do to bring in teachers uh incentives with um well, they're signing, I think they're signing bonuses, but uh, several different uh, efforts are underway to try and attract teachers, bring them in, hold them for a period of time based upon either loans provided to them. Um, um, Bill, i got to jump in because we're just about sure, out of sure. time. But uh, thank yeah. you very much for yours. I appreciate you carving out some time for us this morning. Yeah, no problem. Have, Have a great day. You too.